Hey everyone, welcome to Happy Little Yarn. Um, I have a lot to show you this time. It's only been about three and a half weeks since my last podcast, which is great for me. Um, yeah, I have no show notes this time. I just winging it. I brought everything in here and I'm piling it up. And I hope to remember what all I need to tell you because I have no show notes. But, okay, first of all, my shop is reopening on Etsy May 1st, which is this Wednesday coming up. Um, I don't have much in there. I have about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight colors right now. And I got about four more I'm going to do today. So there'll be a good bit. But if you buy between May 1st and the 5th of May, on the 6th, I'll draw um, a prize for somebody if you buy between the 1st and the 5th. I'll just choose a winner randomly and I will might even do an Instagram live. I don't know how to do that but I might try and um, show the winner. Although all of you might not have Instagram. I don't know. If you buy from me and you have Instagram, put your Instagram in the notes and I'll add you. Yay! Also, I'm doing a giveaway of a custom colorway of your choice. Um, you just tell me the colors. If you subscribe to my newsletter at happylittleyarn.com by May 5th, and I'll draw a winner on May 6th. Now, that prize will be something of your choosing, but I'm going to have two giveaways. One for making a purchase before the 5th of May, and one before the 5th of May for subscribing to my newsletter. And I'm not going to be one of these crazy people that send out a newsletter every single day. No. Just when I have updates. Yeah. So, yeah. How's everybody doing? I'm exhausted. I went out of town yesterday for a local yarn store day. I'll go ahead and show you what I got. Um, I went to Thomasville, Georgia. I live in Leesburg, Georgia. And I went to Thomasville to Fuzzy Goat. And it's the cutest little store. And there was a new pattern release by Casa Pinka. I've heard of it before, the designer, but I've never really knitted anything. But it's called Magical Thinking. And I got this with a purchase of a kit. Let's see. It's a pullover shawl where it's um, it has a neck. It goes around and then it spans out into a shawl, which I think is really cool so you don't have to figure out how to wear it. But I got that with the purchase of this kit. Let me get it out. It's all Emma yarn. It's Emma's yarn. Let's throw that anywhere. And I got raindrops. By, I think I've sh shown this before on the podcast. Emma's yarn. And I got grayscale. And I have a lot of grayscale already, but this was part of the kit. And I got After Dark. So, all that will be a pretty little pullover shawl. That's what I got. And I also got the Super Super Miniature. A little Cookie Progress Keeper. Still a little fuzzy, but I think you can see it. I got a magnet for work to put on my fountain cabinet because I've got to have little decorations. A little yarn and knit needles. And I got a stitch fixer, which I always need because I only have like one or two of them and I'm dropping stitches a lot lately, so I need that. Yep, that's what I got. That was my local yarn store contribution. But I'm going to start this pattern as soon as I finish something. I mean, it could be a hat or one sock. I don't care. I'm just going to... Yeah, something. I'm just going to throw everything on the floor. And pick it up later. As I get to it. Okay. Where are you going to find me? You forgot that. You can find me at Happy Little Yarn 
on Instagram, all one word. Or you can find me at happylilyarn.com. That'll take you to my blog, my newsletter, um, what I have in the shop. It'll redirect you to this YouTube channel. And it'll redirect you to my Etsy shop. So everything's there. I am going to be on Etsy. I'm not shop. I'm not um, having my shop on .com anymore. This is all going to be hand-dyed yarns from now on. And I'll do a little update later in this podcast with what I will have in the shop on May 1st. But let's talk knitting because that's what you're here for, right? I guess. What are you here for? It's just because you like talking to me? Or you don't talk. I talk. You like for me to talk to you, right? Okay. This is something new. All of these, I think, are new. I have nothing finished. These are all whips. But let's talk uh, the shrug again by the Cozy Up Knits. The girls, uh, they have their own podcast. I think it's Co Cozy Up Girls or Cozy Up Knits. But it's a shrug again. It's neither a shrug nor a cardigan. It is a shrug again. I just started on this not long ago. Uh, let's see if I got another picture in here of it. I don't think so. But let me show you what I got done so far. I just started alternating skeins. And this is my colorway. This is everything is in. It's like purpley mauve kind of color. I just started alternating because I dyed up this first batch and I was like, I didn't know the yardage because it was from a vendor that I bought yarn from and I didn't write down the details of the yarn. So I'm like, well, I got to keep this. So let's make it pretty and I'll keep it. But it turned out really good. So I'm making it for the store. But this is all I have done so far. It doesn't look like much. It's about 11 repeats of the first part. But that's all I got done. Finger and white yarn in this what size needles are these. This is no joke. It's supposed to be made with cotton yarn but I'm going for wool and nylon and it's a uh, 2.5 US 3 millimeter needle that's no joke for a sweater that's pretty daggone a lot of work did you hear daggone that's southern right there but yeah I like it it's my favorite little color that I've dyed up so far so I got it's just curling up so it doesn't look like much so I'm telling myself 12 repeats maybe I don't remember I'd have to look at my counter and look at this little bag I got I showed you one from books a million this is another one from books a million nevermore isn't that um Edgar Allan Poe yeah same thing on both sides, but I got my notions in there. Let's see what else I got. Now I have this bag, and it's from a yarn shop that went out of business. It's got little llamas on it. But that's my shrug again. Not much to say about it. It's not much yet, but I really like the pattern. It's really pretty. I've seen them wear it on their podcast. And I can't wait to have it, but I'm knitting a lot of size smaller. I'm doing the XXL. And my goal is to lose weight. I'll get into that later. Maybe. If I remember. Because I have no show notes. But, um, my goal is to fit in it once I'm done. Which could be a year from now. So... That's a lot of weight to lose in one year. Maybe I can do it. If not, I'll give it to someone like my mom or I might be too big on her, but Okay, what's next? 
All right, this is my, I wrote it down, So Shannon YYC on Instagram. Let's see if I can get that to focus. So Shannon YYC. Y'all need to check out her bags. I've showed them before. I have a few of them. Oh, I have one really awesome one. This is full of stuff, but that's one. Got a glittery bottom. I don't know what you call that. Like thick material to keep it. Look at the glitter. Oh, and the skulls. I love skulls. If you have something skull that you don't want, you're tired of them, send them my way. But that's one. I've got several others. Um, this is one I got not long ago. But let's see what's living in here. I think I've been working on this recently. I uh, worked on this the other day. This is the Canada Friends Cow by Jenny of Cherry Pie Cottage. You can find this pattern on Ravelry. And I don't know how much I'm going to have finished by the deadline because I have a lot on my needles right now but she's having a knit along for this cow um I think the end date is May 31st cherry pie cottage check her out I think you get extra points if you're using her yarn so check her out on Etsy she's got an Etsy store too check her out cherry pie cottage but this is all I have done so far I haven't worked on it in a couple days because I started to test knit and I've been working on that a lot. That's what I have finished so far. Yeah, you can see the yarns, but I'm using Hue Loco. It's got tweed in it, and that colorway is Snowshoe. And I'm using Lobby and Amy. Amy. Lobby and Amy. I'm Southern. Amy. That's my name, Amy. Lobby and Amy. I think that's how people say it. But this is her Yellow Brick Road on Yak. And that's all I've got done so far. I think I'll work on it today. It's really enjoyable. Gotta figure out which row I left off on. I hate when I do that. I stop and I think, oh, I'll remember. I don't remember. I hate when the phone rings while I'm doing this. It's like, of course it would ring. It never rings and then it rings. Back. Yes. Okay. So that's my Canada friend's call. Cow. Call. Cow. She is having a cow for it. Check her out. I got anything interesting in here? Nope. Just yarn and the project. Oh, and here's her on the bag. I don't know if you can see that. It's in the way of the camera. So, Shannon, check out her bags, please, because she's awesome. Uh, let's see. What else do I have to show you? I'll show you my other bag by So Shannon. Jellyfish. This is the one I've shown you before. It's awesome. And it's really big inside. I mean, look at all that space. I got two projects in there. Small projects, but I got two projects. Okay, this is a test net for Zakia of Lady Wing Designs. This is her Vanilla for Life socks. And I don't have a picture of it, but it's just her vanilla sock recipe. And she want, asked me, or I volunteered. But she asked me if I would knit it up. And this is what I have so far. I got like from here to here done yesterday in the car. Because my husband was driving. Um, it's on the car ride. But that is my one-of-a-kind colorway. It's called Mixed Tape. All my one-of-a-kinds are called Mixed Tape. 
and this is track two but that's it and I'll show you what it looks like. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like in a skein I think it's over here it's kind of like purples and browns grays kind of a greenish color there's just no way I can replicate this there's only one available so if you want it that's what it looks like knit up I think it's pretty but one available It'll be available on Wednesday, May 1st. Come on, focus. There we go. Yep. But that's my mixtape. And I love this sock recipe. It started out toe up. And it's just smooth sailing. It's all stockinette, knit, knit, knit. That's one project in here. Oh, there's my glasses case. <laughs> I went to the hospital for something. Had a procedure done two weeks ago, I think. A week ago. And I took this with me. My bag. And I took this project with me. Um, if it doesn't fall off the needles. No, it's not going to fall off. But I'm working on a hat. Of course, it's just something simple you can knit. It's all bunched up, so. I did a provisional cast on, because I like to do a folded up brim. It'll look all nice and thick and good clean edge. I'll do a few more inches of, what am I doing, a one by one brim. And then I'll just do a stockinette hat nothing fancy here's the yarn I've had this yarn for a while and I can't find the ball band it's shepherd's wool I know that much is that it no shepherd's wool I don't know it was like milk chocolate I think that was the name of the brand the colorway Yep, that's all I got of the hat. So, not much progress on either one of those, but I'm going to try to get to the heel today on the sock. The Vanilla for Life socks? Is that what it was called? Yeah, Vanilla for Life socks. And y'all watch for that pattern to come out because it's a really cool vanilla sock recipe. And that's by Zakia of Lady Wings Designs. And the hat was just my design. I'm not, I don't have a pattern for that. Okay, lastly, I think this is my last project, and I don't even remember what it is because I haven't worked on it in a while. Oh, yeah. This is my... I don't even have the pattern in here. Yeah, I do. This is called... What is it called? Ah, on the second page. That's weird. This is called Long Bow. And it's a, I guess a hood. On a stud. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm knitting. And I had to order another thing of yarn. This is ginormous. I think this is see what the tag says blue moon fiber arts this is their tarhi worst worsted 100% targi wool 616 yards in the colorway caddy wampus so this is what I have so far I still have a ways to go before I join but what I have. Just a bunch of ribbing. It's enjoyable. It's mindless. Um, 
I should probably pick it up and work on it a little bit more. It's no rush. I mean, it's like 80 degrees outside right now, so no rush. But that, I think, is all the knitting I have. Uh, it lives in my Rock Baby Scissors bag. And if you remember last time, um, I think the ha handle came off right here. It was my fault, I think. Um, I was traveling, so I don't know what happened. But I've sent it off to her, and she fixed it and sent it back to me. Didn't charge me anything for that. She paid for shipping. But it is a cool bag. Lots of space. Y'all check her out. Rock Baby Scissors on Etsy. What shall we talk about next? Um, let's talk acquisitions because I have a lot of them and it's embarrassing. I showed you what I got for the local yarn store day. Uh... Let's start with inked wool. I got a hat kit. I guess it's a hat kit. But here's her information. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, I'll put it in the description box on YouTube here. And I'll put some information on it on my Ravelry group. But this is called Ugger Snot. It's 7525 DK 246 yards. And I couldn't resist. And it came with a pom pom. Ink tool. And I bought this for a specific reason. I'm going to be in the hospital in June. And I wanted something to work on that's fun and keep my attention. So I'm going to make. A hat in the few days I will be in the hospital if I feel like it because I don't know what I'm gonna feel like after surgery yeah you know can't predict that doctor said I would be fine I would just you know it wouldn't be pain it would be change get to that later okay and then ooh, I forgot to take all this out of the bags this is my yarn cafe creations the my little pony mini skein set number one and it's all kinds of pretty colors and I'm getting these mini skein sets for my the blanket it's not cozy up blank or not cozy up it's not the memory blanket one. I forgot what it's called. I got the pattern right here, but I got yarn covering it. I got those mini skeins. I think she's on, she has her own website, Yarn Cafe Creations. And then I got a brand I've never tried before. Um, I know the yarn nerd who has her own podcast loves this brand and they had a knit along one time and this dyer has her own podcast i think it's cherry pearls i can't really remember the name of the podcast but i got them in the bag too sorry i'll edit this and i'll take them out of the bag and show you one by one i got this is soft sock in chantilly colorway it's 7525, 463 yards per 100 grams. And it's Teeny Button. Let's see if I can get that label. Teeny Button Studios. And this is Chantilly. And it looked a lot different than this one, but I guess there's a lot of difference in the colors. I, I like these creamy colors. I don't know why I just started liking them. This one's Leaping Llamas. It's on Soft Sock as well. It's got some blues and dark blues. And there goes the phone again. Uh, and I have one more. 
it's on soft sock as well this is on your marks get set bake and what was that the great baking show or something like that I can't remember there's a reference so look at those colors isn't that awesome my mom's coming over so this is going to be a two-part I will come back to you later after she's gone podcast okay let me throw these over here and oh I just want to show you this real quick I got this from rock baby scissors as well she sells some leftover yarn or not yarns fabric and I got this Harry Potter I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but it was Harry Potter how could I not okay let me show you some stranded dye works this is on her MCN and I think I got it on sale it was on that sale she had recently this is her Equinox base or not base colorway on her MCN base isn't that pretty it's like spearmint and neon yellow or green and purples browns pretty 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 and I got some Hue Locos and this is her Color Riot mini skein set let me see what that is. I showed you my address email me this is all her colorways in the color riot and there's how many in here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten colorways I'm gonna use that in my blanket as well And I've ordered some minis from Primrose Yarn. And I got Nasty Unicorn. I got Ink, Ink Blot. Carnival Smell you lighter. That's funny. There's no really rhyme or reason why I picked these. I thought they were pretty. Bye bye. Really nice. And gobstopper. If y'all hear my stomach growling, I'm sorry. That's all primrose. This is going in my blanket as well. I have high hopes for this blanket. And I got two salted pearl skeins of yarn on her Adelaide base, single ply. 100% superwash merino, 435 yards. It's kind of like a light pink and cream. Salted pearl. All kinds of yarn. I think I got two of these. This is another blue moon. This is her, the Silky Victoria, 85% pole worth, 15% silk. 695 yards in the colorway black and it looks worsted I think it was I got it from eat sleep knit online but they're based in Dallas Georgia I love their store ain't it pretty kind of reminds me of everything is in didn't even notice that everything is in black I like mine better but I think I got two of these. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just liked it. And I got some Miss Babs. Miss Babs. 
This was a Wild Iris colorway, which is like her one of the kinds. And I think I got three of these. It's called Deep Roots. It is 100% Superwash Merino, 560 yards, and it's a worsted weight, I think. DK weight. That's a DK weight. And I got Walnut, same base, DK weight again. I thought those would be pretty together. I got two of these and three of these. I thought I'd make a nice sweater. Okay, last thing I got. I'm going to take it out of the bag, so I'll take a little edit break. Okay, this is Hugh Loco again. And this is Backyard Chicken Collection. And this is The Hens. Golden Spangled Hamburg. I don't know. And the contrast looked a lot different on her website, but I like it. It comes with two mini skeins. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I just really liked it. But it's her backyard chickens. Love it. And I got one more thing. It's not yarn. I got some sock blockers. I can't remember where I got these from. It was on Etsy. I'll put a link in the description box and here on YouTube and Ravelry. Okay, that's what all I bought. Let's talk about the shop update on Etsy. These are the colorways I'll have and I'll have more soon. Is everything is in and I have all my colorways song names mainly grunge and classic rock but there's some other stuff in there too everything is in which is a song by Bush 90s song I love it that's what I'm making my shrug again out of and I have four of these available this is zombie a song by the Cranberries in the 90s. It's like a medium green. There's some little brown flecks through there. It's not speckled, but it's like different shades of green. Alright, this is one bourbon, one scotch, one beer. Because I absolutely adore that song and I had to have a colorway named after it and it kind of looks like the color of beer or bourbon or scotch or whiskey this is just a girl by no doubt this very pretty pale pink this is take it off 90 song by the Donna's Like a blackish, dark, deep, purpley pink, purple more. And this is Freebird. It's like there's a little bit of teal and blue in there, different shades. See that teal running through there? And this is Paradise City. Song by Guns N' Roses. Different shades of blue. Remind me of the ocean. That's all I've got right now. I've got four more colorways coming up today. I don't know what they're going to turn out like or what they're going to be named. But, yeah. Uh, okay, well, that's basically it. Oh, i got one more. This is a mixed tape, one of a kind. This is track one. It's kind of a corally orange color. I got two of those available. There's basically two of everything. Now I'll take orders if you like a colorway and you want it repeated in more like a sweater's quantity. But I'm only going to do two at a time basically until I know you like it and then I'll dye some more. 
but I always take I'll take custom colorways I'll take and pre-orders of colorways I already have hey so this is four hours later or five um, my mom came over and helped in the garden so I've been outside dyeing yarn and watching her help me in the garden she buys me flowers and we plant them in the garden so I finished dyeing and I brought some colors in with me I just finished spin drying them and I want to show them to you because these will be in the shop on Wednesday hopefully if I can get them dry out by Tuesday and take pictures of them so the first one is just a gray light silvery gray they're wet so you can't really tell but yeah got that one I have a mixtape I might be able to repeat this I really like it but it's kind of a grayish pink got a little brown in there but yeah it's got a little brown I put some tried to do a little speckle but I was like eh, I don't know if I like that but that's one two I got a brown and a creamy tan one twist up and, and a hank will look a lot different but yeah that I don't know what these are going to be named yet and all my yarns that are going to be in the shop on Wednesday are fingering weight and I'll talk more about that in a minute this is a black and a, like a light mint let's see if I can it's hard to twist them when they're wet that's how that'll look I don't know what I'll name it but I really like this one and then the last one I have four of these there's two of all of these uh, for this one it's a purple and I tried to do emerald green but it came out more like a serious spearmint let me see what this will look like I'll twist it up I like this one too but it didn't come out like I wanted it so we will see there you go so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five, so that's fourteen colors that'll be in the shop on Wednesday. Yay! Did five today. I was gonna do six, but my back is killing me, killing me, killing me, killing me. Okay. Well, um, the yarns I'm going to offer: DK, worsted, and. I got BFL fingering on as well. I haven't cracked into the BFL fingering. But I got DK Worsted fingering and BFL fingering. If you like any of these and you want them on a different base, please let me know. Um, got all this beautiful, good smelling yarn. Yay! On my lap because everything else is covered in yarn right now well dry yarn that isn't mine okay so that's it for yarn and everything and shop updates so let's talk about just chit chat like I said my mom and I just did some gardening she's helping me keep my yard all pretty 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 and the light is all different and everything right now so and I'm all red and look I'm all burnt Ugh. I wore a tank top outside that's probably not the best idea but yeah we got some flowers down and we're going to replant some stuff next weekend and I want to do an herb garden but I'm not going to be able to keep up with it through the summer and I don't want to ask her to help me do it so 
I think I'm just gonna plant some herbs inside maybe I'll better I'll be able to take care of those better but I died for like four or five hours today I woke when I was podcasting earlier and kept getting interrupted um I had been dying for about 40 minutes so it's about 3.40 now, so that's four or five hours. I'm very slow at dying, especially outside. Especially on these little pots that I have. The burners that I have outside, because they do not get hot very fast. But, I enjoy dying yarn. It's fun. Finally, let's talk about surgery. I'm having a surgery in June. So, let me see what my dates I put up were. I think I have it as June, uh, let's see, June 18th through July 12th. My shop is going to be on vacation because I'm not going to be able to do any packaging or anything like that. I might, if I get to open it earlier, I'll send out news. Um, I'll have a surgery on June 19th. I'm having gastric bypass surgery. It's for the best. It's for my health. I've tried losing weight on my own, and I'm just gaining more back each time I lose it, so. I don't know what to do. So, my BMI is 53, so I have to lose more than one person to be healthy again. And, that's about all about that. I mean, love it or hate it, that's what I gotta do. I've got to do this for my family, i got to do this for me. It's for my health. I want a long life and I can't do this dying yarn in my back killing me and out of breath and I just need to get healthier. So I've been walking a little bit. I've been having protein shakes in the morning for lunch and then I have a dinner. And you know I'm not losing weight doing any of this so I think there's something just screwy with my body that doesn't like to lose weight. I don't know. But I'll, the shop will be on vacation while I'm recovering. I won't be out of work for about three weeks. So, I don't know. And then I'll go back. I'll be on a liquid diet for a month. I wanted to do the lap band or a sleeve, but since my BMI is so high, I cannot risk doing that because I wouldn't lose as much as I need according to my doctor. Um, he said this would probably be the best for me so I'm having gastric bypass. I'm not excited about it. Um, a little excited about having some time off work but if I'm in pain I'm not excited about it but this will be for the best. But I have a favor to ask all of you if you could leave me a message um, you can do it at happylittleyarn.com, send me some information or do it in the comments below or on Ravelry. I need some stuff to watch. Okay, on Hulu, I have Hulu. I've watched Shrill. That was really good. Really, really good. Um, let's see. I watched on Netflix, um, that comic book one. Umbrella something? Academy? Umbrella Academy? I watched that. That was really good. And I watched Someone Great. That was just a movie though. That was really good. I started watching Once Upon a Time again last night. That's really good too. But I don't have anything... I'm real picky. I don't know. If you have a series that you like, I don't like anything action. I don't like killing or vulgar or anything like that. I like something I can watch with you know just calm and happy but if you know of anything please let me know I have Hulu Netflix and Amazon Prime and if I could stream something I just want to make a list of shows that I could watch while I'm in the hospital or while I'm home in bed yeah but I appreciate it or any advice at all you know if you've been through something similar um, if you got any kind of activity you think I could be like something fun to do in bed or, you know, sitting around, nothing too active, 
I'm pretty sure they're gonna put me on some kind of rest. I don't know. I don't know. This is all new for me. I've got a plan on healthy meals. That's another thing I really would like to know. What's some healthy meal plans that y'all have. Um, I don't want to live just on vegetables or anything, but I am going to do protein shakes. And I have to get a lot of vitamins. And I don't want junk. So I really need something that's delicious, but healthy. And I know that's stupid because that doesn't exist without gravy and carbs. Hmm. Okay, well, that's about it for this time. I'll try to do another podcast in May. And I'll try to do another one before I have my surgery in June. But for now, thank you for stopping by. Check out the website. Don't forget about the giveaways. And check out the yarn update on May 1st on the Etsy shop. Uh, it's Happy Little Yarn on Etsy and happylittleyarn.com. You can find it there too. It'll take you directly to Etsy. So y'all have a beautiful week and I will see you next time. Bye.